Hi, what's up guys? So today we're going to continue our series and improve our inventory. We're going to create new item types. We're going to equip the weapons, cycle the weapons, and that's it. So let's begin. So the first thing we need is to go to the inventory folder and create a new category. In this case, we're going to create a new folder called uh, trucks, for example. So open it up. I'm going to do the same thing we did in the last video. So blueprints create a structure for this item. So drug struct. Open it up. This is going to have a name, which is going to be a name. It's going to have a mesh. In this case, it's going to be a static mesh. This one. And it's going to have an amount. So the amount of this item that we have. And it's going to be a float. So save, go back, create a table to store the weapons. So miscellaneous data table, drug struct. Okay. Say drug table, open it up. Now we're going to create two drugs. So first one is going to be weed second one so this is going to be weed uh the mesh is going to be the box uh like 20 of amount and we're going to create another one called uh lsd which is going to be lsd and here we're going to select the barrel so 50 for example so this is just an example um so yeah so now we have two drugs that we can use in the game now we need to create the component to store um the drugs so we're going to use the same one as the weapons so go to the weapons and copy this one Control c go back to the drugs Control v f2 to rename it to ac drugs open it up and now we need to change the type of structure that we are using here. So click here and say drug struct, change variable type. Now go here uh, to the items right here and select again, drug struct, change variable type. Okay. So now if we hit compile, we should have a few errors. So open them up and just refresh all the nodes. Refresh and connect uh, the unconnected pins. Okay, compile, go to the next one. Uh, in this case, you select the drug table first and then refresh and then connect the row and that's it. Compile, go to the next one, refresh everything refresh refresh and refresh so connect every single one of them like this compile and this is the final one where uh, we need to refresh everything first and in this specific function which is a stack function which is used to stack the values when we found uh, when we have this item on our inventory. We also need to delete the set members in weapon struct and replace it for set members in drug struct. Okay, so just connect this right there, uh, and now we can expose the amount, for example, and now we want to increase uh, the amount when we pick up a new item, right? So to do that, we're going to grab the item that we found on our inventory, we're going to say break the drug structure and say the amount add this one right here, which is the amount from the table. So click this node and say hide and connect it. So it's cleaner this way. Um, drag this right here and connect the amount to the amount. Okay. So now the amount should be increasing every time we pick up a new item. So compile save and that's it. As you can see, there's no more errors and we can use this component. 
So now let's go back to our character, uh, the default character. And let's add uh, this component, so drugs. Uh, let's create a new function to pick up drug. And we're going to get the drugs component. Give. Connect here. And the name is going to be from here. And now we can say return node that this was successful. So like this, the same thing that we have on the weapon, it's exactly the same thing. So like this, compile save. Um, now we need to call that function. So we're going to go to our pickup, inventory, pickup, and we are going to apply same logic for the weapons, but for the drugs. But as you can see, we don't have drugs here. So we need to go to the category names that we created, add a new one and call it uh, drugs like this. So now we can close it and you should have a new pin right here. So now just uh, copy these first nodes and connect this right here, select the drug table and split the structure. Now, instead of a skeletal mesh, we will have a static mesh. So we'll say set static mesh. And if the row is found, then we set the mesh to the mesh like this. So now the weapon, uh, sorry, the drug should be visible as a pickup, but we need to call the function to pick them up. So we're going to go to the event graph and we are going to change this a little bit. As we said in the previous video, we are going to verify if this is a weapon or if this is a drug. So drag this here, grab the item type from here, get, say, a switch, connect this right there. And if we have weapons, then you do this process right here if you don't, if we have drugs instead, then we grab this character and say pick up drug, connect right there, and the name is going to be the item name. And you can copy this once and just uh, connect everything like this. That's it. So compile, save. Now, if we add some drugs to the world so i'm going to duplicate this one i'm going to put it right here and instead of rifle is going to be weed and now it's going to be drugs so here we go should have our box right there um so if we hit play we should be able to pick up the box so the weed in this case um, so we can also duplicate this one if you want and um, select the LSD right here. So as you can see, now you hit play. If you pick it up, now we should have the LSD, the weapons, the weed, we should have everything. Um, so right now, what we are going to do is uh, the functionality to cycle the weapons, okay? So to do that, we are going to go to the inventory categories to the weapon component. And we are going to create two functions to cycle the weapon in one direction or into the other direction. Um, so right here, just add a new function called cycle up. And you're going to grab the items. You're going to say keys to get all the names of the items. And for each, uh, for each, no, sorry, uh, next, you're going to say next. So we're going to get the next item. And right here, <clears throat> you're going to say, grab the items again and say find like this. And the name connects the name right here and creates a branch. So if we found the, the next item in the inventory, 
um, then we are going to set this as a variable. So promote a variable called item, sorry, active item. Okay, that's it. Connect right here and we can return the results that we got so that we can use it uh, to set the overlay state and attach the weapon. So that's it. Basically, we now can uh, cycle the weapon in one direction. Um, all that's missing is this little thing right here, which we need to uh, grab from the active item, get, split the structure, and connect this right here. So now, yeah, so now we have um, function to cycle the weapon. Now we can duplicate this one. So control C, control V, uh, cycle down, and we can just delete this node. And instead of next, we're going to say previous. So we're going to get the previous item. Connect everything, this right here and this right here. So that's it. So now we have two functions to cycle the weapons in both directions. One thing that is important is to go to the items and to add an empty item to the to your array. Otherwise, you can't go back to the normal state where we don't have a weapon. So just click here and add one here, and that's it. Okay. So um, now we need to call these functions. So we're going to go back to our character uh, right here, and we are going to use the ALS keys to cycle the weapon. The mouse will up and down. So click here on this icon, find the ALS player controller. And now here on the switch overlay states, just break, um, break all the node links like this. Because we want to use our cycling instead of the overlay state switcher. So copy these two nodes, go back to your character and paste them like this. Okay. Give him some space and now we need to uh, call the functionality to cycle the weapons. So at weapons components, cycle up, that's it. And the same thing right here, um, weapons components, cycle down. Okay, like this. Um, so now we want to attach the weapon to the hand. So we're going to split both structures right here. We're going to go to the held object uh, thing and grab the attached end function like this. Connect this right here, the mesh to the mesh. Uh, do the same thing right here. The mesh to the mesh. Uh, and now we uh, should be able to cycle the weapons. So if we hit play, for example, and grab our weapons, we should be able to cycle. So the thing is that we are missing the overlay states, right? So to do that, we're going to close this and we're going to go to our um, inventory folder, categories, weapons, and in the weapon struct, we are going to add a new property called overlay. Okay, and this is going to be of type ALS overlay state, this one. So save it. Now you need to go to the table and specify the overlay for each item. So the pistol will be the pistol 1H overlay state and the rifle will be the rifle overlay state. So save, compile, save all, and that's it. So now we can go back to our character, open it up. And here we are going to say set overlay state like this, connect the overlay to the overlay and we do the same thing right here. Overlay to the overlay, compile, save. Now if we hit play and grab a weapon, we should uh, be able to use its overlay state. So as you can see, now we can use the weapon animations, uh, so that's it.
that's basically it. This is how you can uh, cycle and attach weapons. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you learned something with it. I tried to show you how you can uh, expand from what we learned in the previous video. So I, I really hope you understood it. And thank you for all the new subscribers, uh, all the people that have been talking to me. Uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks. Thank you for watching.